Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2019 statistics exam. Today we will see these three questions 9, 10 and 25 which is related to the least square estimation are there. How you can solve these three questions within a given time period we will see in here. So let's firstly see what are these questions are there. So question number 9 is of the 1 marks and in this case we have to find the unbiased estimator of this sigma square that is nothing but the unknown variance and uh, uh, given uh, lines of the regression is given to you it is of one marks next question is again of the one marks in which case again a linear equation is given to you and you have to find the unbiased estimator of this alpha plus beta another question is again one marks some x size and y are given to you and you your target is to find the variance of the least square estimator of this beta is there so if you closely look about these three questions, the one thing which is common to you about this least square equation, that is a simple regression equation is given to you in all cases. And how you can solve such kind of equation within a one minute, I can firstly summarize you the some tips. So that tips will help you to solve not only these three questions, but it is similar to all those questions which may be asked in your future examinations. So if you have the simple linear regression equation like of this form beta node plus beta 1 x plus epsilon where epsilon assumption is it has the normally distributed whose mean is 0 variance is sigma square. Then your target is to firstly find the value of the beta node what is that and what is the value of the beta 1. For that you need some points x i's and the y i's. So like say you can see in the previous examples like 25 x i's and y i's are given this and this are given to you then how you can find the values of this beta node and so on. So for that what you can do is you have to write whatever the equation it is, it is given to you, you can write their normal equation. How you can write the normal equation that we already discussed that. So if you can put up the summation on both sides. So you will get here. This is my beta 1 of this and second is multiply this by x and then again put the summation on both sides. So this is nothing but my here. After solving these two equations, you can easily get the value of beta naught and beta 1. Now, second, co second question arises is we will see what is this distribution following. Is it follows the normal distribution? Then what will be the mean? If what is the distribution of this beta naught and beta 1? Or you can say what are the estimators of this beta naught? Means your target is to find the mean of this and variance of this. So again, uh, once you have this x i's and the y i's, you can solve this equation with the help of the normal one and whatever you get the value of the beta node and beta 1, these are my here. You can see beta node and beta 1 estimators are my unbiased. Now the thing is how you can find the variances of that. You can find the variance by using simple rule here, where sigma square is given to you, then summation x square and what is the x bar is? This is nothing but my sample mean. If you have some x i's and the y i are given to you, you can easily find. How you can find the covariance? If they ask you about the covariance, you can simply use this one. C i j are the elements of this x transpose of x inverse and so on. However, if someone asks you how you find the unbiased estimator of sigma square, like you can see question number 9, they are asking you about the unbiased estimator of sigma square. How you can find that? You can simply use this formula 1 upon n minus 2 of s s e and for also you can see n minus 2 s upon follows this chi square distribution with the degree of freedom as n minus 2. So based on these six tips you can solve any of the questions related to the least square estimate. So let's see now what these three questions ask that. What is that you have to find the least find the unbiased estimator of the sigma square over this. So you can see what is the unbiased estimator of this here. But you can see what is the n minus 2, why it's a 2, there are the two unknown parameters. So in this case, how many unknown parameters are there? This is, there are the three unknown parameters. So what is the right answer of this? Instead of the n minus 2, it's a n minus 3 of s s e. What is the n is? These are my 10. So this is 1 by 7. What is the variance of this y i minus y bar square? So which one is the right answer? this is the right answer. So you can see with the help of these six tips that one tip is helpful for here you can solve them easy man. Look at the another one is there now in this case you have to find the unbiased estimator of alpha plus beta. So look at that they are not talking about this uh, mean or variance are there. So how you can find that 
that's a very simple again this is given to you and sigma i's are uh, standard normal distribution what is the meaning of that mean of this is zero and variance of this sigma is my one so what is your target is to find the value of the alpha and beta so what you can do you can simply write the normal equation so what is that summation of y is nothing but n alpha plus of this multiply this by x and then put uh, the summation on both side so this is alpha times x beta times x square now you can substitute the values from here what is the sum of the y you can take them it's my 3 is a 3.5 n is my 3 what is the sum of the x so you can see 1 plus 1 minus of 0 it's a 0 so from here you can find the value of alpha as of this you can see here what is the x y is if you multiply them it will be my 0 0.5 it will be my 2.5 it will be my minus 1 so it my 3 minus 1 is my 2 this will be 0 plus x square this is 1 1 4 that is my 6 times beta so what is the value of the beta is my 1 by 3 so what is the answer of the alpha plus beta so what is the answer of alpha plus beta 4.5 divided by 3 is the 1.5 is the right answer look at the last question are here so here you have to find the variance of the beta that is you find the variance of beta of the estimator of beta so if you go back on this six tips where if your equation is like this way here then what is the variance of this this is nothing but sigma square upon x i minus x bar square if i can go back on these six tips are there you can see variance of the beta one beta one is nothing but the coefficient of the x that is sigma square upon here so if I use here, you can see you have to find the beta of the x, beta that's a coefficient of here. So what is that? Now what is the x bar? x bar is nothing but summation of this. So you can see what is the sum of this 3 plus 2 5 minus 4 1 0. So what is that? This term is nothing but my x i square and over is here. So what is the sigma is? Sigma square is 3. What is the x i square? This is 9 plus 4 plus 16 plus 1 this is a 10 20 this is a 30 so what is the right answer of this 1 by 10 that is a point 1 is the right answer of this so you can see summation of x i square is a 9 4 16 1 that's the right answer so point 1 is the right answer of this problem so you can see with the help of these six tips you can easily solve this least care estimator question it's in a very simple manner i hope you can enjoy this section too so we will discuss here this and this we already covered that now in the next next class we will see how you can solve this maximum likelihood estimators question which was asked here after that we will see here till then you can simply follow this link for finding the various videos best of luck students happy learning